Hello everyone, it's Jennifer. I'm here today to talk about books. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do is read. I absolutely love reading. I really, really got into reading when I was pregnant, so about 13 years ago. I mean, I read when I was like growing up and stuff, but I wasn't really, really obsessive about reading until I was pregnant with my daughter, who's now 12. About a book every two days I was reading, and I read through like a whole bunch of series and got really, really into the books, and then I still read a little bit after she was born, but I kind of died down a bit after that because I was busy with being a mother and stuff like that. And now, um, the past couple of years, I've got really, really into reading again. I have so many books on my shelves. I have five, six, seven, seven bookshelves filled with books and I have a giant box of um, James Patterson books on the floor that won't fit in my bookshelves and I have five packages that I got in the mail recently um, with books um, that I'm going to open in a different video some also that are still in the mail because I had like I found the book outlet and I was so impressed with their prices, like could not believe it. And I got a gift certificate for Mother's Day, and um, I have uh, another means which I uh, get, get gift cards for chapters, which is an online or well, a bookstore. So yes, I have an obscene amount of books, and most of the books on my shelves I haven't read because I've been collecting books since since I was pregnant and because my mom would read all of the books and she would give them to me and I would just save them because I wanted to read them but I didn't want to read them right then I just would oh I'll do it later I'll do it later and I just kept putting it off I love collecting books I, I can't I'm never probably well I know I won't say never if I get an e-reader it'll be only for books that I can't get physical copies of or, you know, free books or whatever that, you know, I might find that are short or something. But if I want a book, I'm not going to buy it um, on an e-reader because I like to hold books. I like the feeling of books in my hands, flipping through them, oh, fanning my face with them and smelling them as I flip through them. Oh my god. love reading. What I'm going to do right now is show you my to be read books for May. And <clears throat> I know that May is uh, like, you know, more than halfway through the month, but whatever. I've decided I'm starting this now and I want to show you. The first book I read in May is Erica Spindler, Dead Run. I am going through an Erica Spindler book reading phase because I have all of her books except for her very latest book, which I'm not sure if it's out yet. And if it is, it's, it's, I'm waiting for the paperback. Um, so I'm reading all of her books uh, in, in sequence. So most of these are going to be Erica's Uh So this is Dead Run. What's it about? Uh, I read it like two weeks ago. Dead Run is a book about Liz, and she gets a call um, on her answer machine from her sister, Rachel, who is a pastor. And it's a frantic message calling for help and, oh my god, I can't believe what's happening. Um, help me. Um, and it turns out Rachel uh, disappears. And uh, she heads to Key West to figure out what happened to her sister. And there is weird things going on. There's a killer who's killing people. And they're ritualistically killed and it has to do with religion and 
and then there's a romance with the cop and stuff like that. So, romantic suspense, but more suspense. Um, and her books, uh, if she when she writes about romance, they're not like um, mushy, like whimsical, you know, unbelievable romance. They're 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 good. Second book I read in May was In Silence. This was her next book. And I just finished this book. Um, it took me longer to read these last two books because I was doing other filming and stuff for my videos for this channel because I just started it. <coughs> but I just finished this book um, yesterday. Avery has gone home to Cypress Springs in Louisiana where her, her father has apparently committed suicide. He's killed himself and she needs to go and settle up the house and sort out the funeral, etc, etc. Um, things seemed off to her, like something was fishy. Like there was a slipper that was um, found in the hallway and the other one was on him or in the fire because he burned himself alive in the garage. What a way to go if you're going to kill yourself. I don't think I'd do it that way. I wouldn't do it at all, but you know. Um, so, uh, other things happen and she decides, you know what, um, I don't think he killed himself. And she finds a whole bunch of stuff in his house that makes her question things. And other people start dying in the community and, oh, these people have some issues in that town, let me tell you. They don't take kindly to strange folk. So this was really good and I gave it four stars. And you know what? Erica Spindler liked my review on Goodreads. She's liked all of my reviews on Goodreads. I'm so happy about that. She even accepted my friend request, but she probably does that to her fans, which is very nice and I appreciate that. The book I'm currently reading is See Jane Die by Erica Spindler, obviously. This one I've really just started. I'm on page 50. Jane Killian um, was in um, an accident in, in the water. A boat ran into her face and she became horribly disfigured and her eye popped out and she had to have reconstructive surgery. She had to have reconstructive surgeries um, throughout her life to fix her face and she pretty much looks normal and pretty and everything like that now. But she obviously has been scarred and I think she is an artist of some sort and she takes photography and she gets people to bare their souls and show, you know, the deepest part of themselves. Whether it be, you know, kind of not very nice or beautiful or whatever, but her art is about bearing the soul and showing what's underneath the, exter the exterior. Her sister is a cop and she has to there's she's just investigated a murder. Um, and I think what happens is that the person that's murdered um, is connected in somehow to Jane's husband and he might be a suspect. So whatever, we don't know what's going to happen there. So the next book I plan to read after See Jane Die is Killer Takes All. And I like this cover. I like, uh, it's kind of ominous, you know, with the hand laying over the tub, you know, with blood dripping. Um, I'm not really sure what this book's about, obviously. Uh, it actually involves Stacy, the cop from the previous book. And I think she's in the next one as well. So it's a little bit of a uh, series. And it takes place in New Orleans. Um, a friend's brutal murder turns former homicide detective Stacy Killian's life upside down. She doesn't trust the new cop. So she starts investigating herself. I'm um, not too sure what this one's about. Uh, right here I see the investigation leads Stacy and Spencer to White Rabbit, a cultish fantasy role-playing game. Hmm. And uh, the next one I'm hoping to read uh, within the next 10 days, obviously, I really don't know if this is going to happen, but if I pull through and power through these books, I can probably finish one, two, three, three and a small fourth in 10 days. We'll, we'll make it happen. Goals. 
Okay, so this La La The One is Last Known Victim by Erica Springler. And it also has... No, it doesn't. Captain Patty O'Shea. I thought this one had the other one too. So this one involves uh, a killer that's known as the Handyman. I don't like how that sounds. Ooh! Now the blurb on the back, it says, In 2005, hurricane rescue workers made a grisly discovery at one of the massive refrigerator graveyards. Six female hands. So this obviously takes place right after Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. So if I'm feeling adventurous um, and um, goal-oriented and I power through, like I said, um, I'm hoping to get this off my to be read list, which is Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. And I think this is a, a young adult book, like a teen book. Um, and I really, I like this cover, it's very sweet. I like the bow and the block and it's very simple. And this one is, I'll just read the back because it's short. The thing is, you can get used to anything. You think you can't, you want to die, but you don't. You won't, you just are. <laughs> this is Alice. She was taken by Ray five years ago. She thought she knew how her story would end. She was wrong. So an abduction story and you know what, um, I think I think this might have something to do with uh, she gets too old for her captor and she has to find a replacement or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, but I think I read that somewhere. Um, and I've heard that it's pretty good. So I'm trying, I'm gonna get, try to read this because like it's it's not hard. The, the, the print is pretty large, you know, so it shouldn't take me long. So yeah, this is my to be read pile for me, and I'm only two and a half books in, but like I said, I'm gonna do it. Um, give me some cheers in the comments, urge me on, and we'll see how that goes. So yes, um, I'm really excited to be doing videos about books, and I'm hoping to branch out um, and find other books to read um, that I haven't heard of before um, following other uh, booktubers and stuff because there are so many of them out there and a lot of them are really good. As I find my favorites and such I will you know I'll give shout outs and, and let you guys know which ones I like best. Maybe I'll make a video on my favorite you know youtubers and such. So um, that's it for this video. I'm, I'm going to also do another video um, about unhauling my massive package of books. So that's pretty exciting because I actually forgot what I bought and I'm looking forward to opening them. So be sure to watch that video. It should be up um, sometime after this one. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy my videos and uh, if you do, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any. Take care.